Look at London and the rates of transmission. It is inevitable as people travel, and of course we're urging people not to travel for the sake of everybody's health, um, that you know, we have to take strong measures, and we're doing that. We're constantly reviewing these measures as well. So if the virus continues to spread, then we will take stronger measures, because at the end of the day, our objective is to save lives and to keep people safe. The new variants around the country, it's in very high uh, proportion of cases in London, the South East and East, but it is present in other places as well. Um, and the lessons I think that you have to learn about this virus generally is it's important to get ahead of it in terms of actions. It's important as rates start to go up that things are controlled. And so we need to monitor the rates very carefully, look at them all the time regularly as is being done by Public Health England and take the action on tiers on the basis of the evidence as it accrues. The one thing I would say, though, is that, um, and I've said this before, I think over this period where in some parts of the country people are mixing with people they haven't been mixing with as part of Christmas, it's really important to follow the rules carefully and to make an assumption that you could be infectious, you could be the person spreading it to somebody else and behave accordingly. Evidence on this virus is it spreads uh, easily, it's more transmissible, we absolutely need to make sure we've got the right level of restrictions in place. I think it is likely that this will grow in num numbers of the variant across the country, and I think it's likely, therefore, that measures that need, to need to be increased in some places in due course, not, uh, not reduced. So I think it is a, a case that this will spread more.